All right, I'm gonna read for you this book called The Drawing Lesson, and we're gonna do a couple of assignments, our daily assignments, that are gonna to tie together with it. So let's begin. Chapter one is called The Meeting. So we see that we're looking at a book of, draw, of how to draw a car here. And you see the outside is called How to Draw Sports Cars. It looks like this little boy thinks that that's pretty cool. And then we hear, kid, I ain't running a library here. You gonna buy that book or not? How much is it? $2. He searches for the money. I've got $1.19 then that book will be yours right after you run back home and ask your parents for 89, 81 more cents. He's very mad, but it doesn't seem like the book guy cares. Then he notices something. Off in the distance, he sees this woman. So he starts walking toward her to see what, to get a better look and see what she's doing. He realizes, wow, she's drawing. She's drawing something. She's drawing those trees across from her. Whoa, you're good. Thanks. No, no, seriously. You're like really good. Thank you. Do you like drawing? I love drawing, but I'm not as good as you. I'm pretty terrible compared to you. Well, I've been practicing for a long time, more than 30 years. You're better than Ryan Pasternak. I didn't even think that was possible, but you are for real. Ryan Pasternak, he's in the fifth grade and he could draw a Lamborghini without looking at anything. Oh, so you think that it's bad to draw while looking at something? Well, it's kind of cheating, right? Because you're copying. If you can draw it from memory, then you're a real artist. But I'm looking at those trees over there. Does that mean that I'm not a real artist? Oh, I was kind of surprised by that. You're the realest artist I've ever met. She smiles. Teach me how to draw. I want to be able to draw like you. Oh, she's a little overwhelmed. Sorry, but I'm not a teacher. I'll pay you. Oh, she's really overwhelmed now. Uh, I have a dollar and 19 cents. It's all the money I have. Huh? I've got $10 at home from my birthday. I don't need your money. Please teach me to draw, please. I've got to learn to draw like this. It's my dream. Okay, what's your name? David. Okay, David, sit down. I'll give you a little drawing lesson. Yes. And we're going to move right into chapter two, and that is drawing what you see. So drawing is all about seeing. You can't draw until, well until you can see well. Awesome, because I don't wear glasses or even contact lenses. I'm not talking about your eyesight, David. I'm talking about seeing things accurately. Here's a let, here, let's start by having you draw my wristwatch. I'll pull the knob so it stops moving, but I'm not really into drawing watches. This isn't about watches. It's about learning to draw anything you're looking at, anything. When it comes to drawing, it's always the same process, whether you wanna draw a tree or a Lamborghini or this wristwatch. I'll, pay, I'll put it next to you. Do your best to draw a picture of it, and I'll help you to see it more accurately so that you can draw it more accurately. He gets started, he's drawing away. Okay, stop right there. What? Look at the shape you've drawn for the face of the watch. Is it the same watch face as in real life? Yeah, they're both rectangles. But are they the same kind of rectangle? He looks at it, he checks both of them. Um, close enough. No, not for serious artists. Take a look at the shape of the watch face, study it. As rectangle go, rectangles go, it's a little squarish. Now, look at the shape of your drawing. How is it different? Well, it's a little bit more um, rectangly. Congratulations, David, you're already a better artist. No, I'm not. Sure you are. Seeing what's wrong with your drawing is 90% of the battle. If you can't see what's wrong, you can't fix it. But you, flip, are learning how to spot your mistakes. That's a big step forward. Now, let's try it again. This time, ease up on the pencil a little. It's hard to erase lines you made when you're pressing down with all your might. Okay, he's concentrating again and drawing the watch face again. Nice, you really got it this time. Now you have to draw the strap. 
But before you get started, take a good long look at what you're about to draw and measure it with your eyes. With my eyes? Yeah, look at the top part of the strap. How many watch faces would you have to lay end to end to e equal that top strap? Mm, two or three? Make up your mind, kid. What is it, two or three? Well, three, I guess. Nicely done. That's how you measure things with your eyes. Now go ahead and draw the whole rest of the watch. Keep your lines light and do your best to get everything in your drawing to match what you see in real life. So he begins to draw. Do I have to put the, number, the same number of holes in the strap thingy? Yes, you have to put the same number of holes in the strap thingy. He continues to draw the strap thingy. Okay, let's have a look. So what do you want to hear first? The good things you got, or the things you got right, or the things you got wrong? He thinks about it. How about you only tell me the good stuff? I don't think she thinks that's a good idea. David, I'm not a cheerleader. You don't get, to get better at things by pretending that you never made mistakes. Okay, tell me the bad stuff, but tell it to me friendly style. Not impressed. All right, the whole point of this lesson is to help you see what's different between the real watch and the drawing of the watch. So let's put them side by side and see if you can spot the differences without my help. Well, first of all, I drew it too big, right? Hey, no one said you had to draw the actual size. You can draw it any size you like, as long as you get the portions right. Let me ask you this. Is the shape of the watch strap in the drawing the same as it is in real life? Mm, not exactly. The real strap tapers a little bit, doesn't it? You drew the strap too wide at the tip. As a result, you ended up drawing the buckle too big as well. Ah, I ruined it. No, you didn't ruin it. Everyone makes mistakes. Mistakes like this at the start, the good news is that you kept the lines right. So it'll be easy to erase the lines light. So it will be easy to erase and fix it. I'm real good at erasing. I do it a lot. Okay, one more thing. The holes on the other strap. But I did what you told me. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. You counted them correctly. I'm so proud of you. Uh, so what did I do wrong? Look at the spaces here on the strap. When people sit down to draw, sometimes they forget to pay attention to the blank spaces between things. But the blank spaces are as important as everything else. You need to get both into your drawing to make it accurate. I kind of don't understand what you just said. Well. Here, take a closer look at what you did. You focused on your, all your attention on the number of holes, but not on their placement. You put the top hole too close to the watch, watch face because you didn't notice the blank space that's here in real life. Beginners make this kind of mistake all of the time. It's easy to see things. It's harder to see the blank spaces between them. So get to it, erase those watch straps and let's see you draw them a little bit more accurately this time. So he corrects and erases and redoes. There you go, nicely done. You've started to see things the way artists do. You're looking at shapes. You're measuring distances. You're paying attention to blank spaces. And best of all, you are done with your free art lesson. Here, keep the drawing. It'll help you remember what you learned. Huh, but I need to learn more. I wanna be as good as you. Teach me how to be as good as you. I have to get back home. I've got deadlines to meet. Please, just 10 more minutes or five. David, you're a nice kid, but you need to understand something. I'm not your teacher. I'm just a lady you saw in the park. Er, that's true, I don't even know your name. It's Rebecca. My friends call me Becky. What should I call you? You, you should call me Becky. He likes that. Look, I come to this park a lot, so you'll probably see me here again sometime, and then I'll give you another lesson. How does that sound? Promise, promise, and she walks away. For your assignment today, it is your turn. You're gonna find a simple object in your home and you're gonna try to draw it, pay special attention to the shapes and the blank spaces to make sure that your drawing is as accurate as possible. 